Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship. John, incredible emotion in the aftermath of that match. Is that the most draining of the 10 semi-finals you've played here? Oh, listen, I've, I've had a few draining semi-finals here. Uh, one against Matthew Stevens, Stephen Maguire. But I think the quality there in the final session is probably the best that, that I've been involved in. I can't really remember any of the other semi-finals, to be honest now. Uh, but the quality that we showed at the end there, it was, no, it was incredible to be involved in. And huge credit to Dave Gilbert. It's it's been an incredible run from him. He he was reduced to tears at the end, and, and you were emotional as well when you were in the studio. He he's done himself huge credit in this fortnight. Yeah, listen, as I said, I would have loved Dave to go on and win it. If I if I if I never won it, he's he's a diamond a guy, diamond a player, uh, and uh, you see what it what it meant to him uh, at the end. But listen, he'll be back because the way he performed this this uh, tournament different class and yeah he'll be disappointed listen he will be disappointed because he had me beat he really did he had me beat the first three sessions and for him to only be 13 11 in front that was his chance maybe missed a little bit and then i managed to come out and play well but uh listen he'll be back he's a great player you did what you do so well you just hung in from 8-3 10-6 it, it was looking like you know it was going to be a, a semi-final exit for you but mentally you you are just so hard to beat at this venue <laughs> yeah well up to the final i think in the last two years so uh, i'll try and rectify that uh, over the next two days but uh yeah no listen it's it's brilliant it's brilliant to still be involved out there in that arena playing those sort of matches, even if I had lost there, because I, I played well the last session. I, I, would have, I gave it everything and I would have shook Dave's hand and I'd have been wishing him all the best. But yeah, he came out winning over the moon, over the moon. Can you in any way put your finger on why you're able to produce your best on so many occasions, albeit the last two finals, but but you know, you've had a probably a poor season by your own high standards and yet you've saved your very best snooker for the biggest stage of all. Why are you able to do that so often here? I really don't know, don't know. Uh, and I'm, I'm obviously really, I'm really lucky that I've done it because this is the best place to try and do it. So I've had some decent memories here, big clearances, things like that. So so to do it, yeah, I'm yeah, proud of that, yeah. Well, you should be. And, and, and it looked as though you, you, you took some some confidence and some support from having Denise and, and, and the kids around? Yeah, listen, they, they, they weren't going to come down until ho hopefully if I'd have got to the final. But when I've, when I've played the first eight frames and I've seen Dave's family and, and I'm thinking, listen, it's a massive occasion, been down to the one table again. I says, quick, get in the car, come down, give me support. But they couldn't because the kids had school and they, they, they did different things to finish at school. They says, look, we'll be down for the third session, try and stay in touch, try and stay with Dave and... I stayed, I stayed with him a little bit, uh, so it was good to have them there shouting you on at the end. And as we're talking at the moment, the second semi-final hasn't finished. Many neutrals will be thinking, well, wouldn't it be great if we got a rerun of the incredible final and the great atmosphere we had between you and Judd back in 2011? Yeah, that would be, it's a different Judd that I would be facing because he's, he's matured, isn't he? One of the best all-round players in the game we've got. So, But I'm sure he'll bring the... He'll bring the the razzmatazz, he'll bring the, the, the crowd that w desperate to see a new young guy win the world title. So, yeah, brilliant. Look forward to it. Really well. Well, we'll see you in your eighth Crucible final. That's quite some record. Well done, John. Cheers, Rob. Thanks. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.